Hello folks and welcome to the Kendall SCD Express. In this video we're going to be talking about sleeve pressures and cycling and also cover the service modes. We're going to make reference to the service manual. So in the first part just going to try and demonstrate the sleeve disconnect. So if you unplug one of the sleeves you don't immediately get an error to indicate there's a leak. In fact, it takes five consecutive cycles before an error code 3 is generated. I'll now demonstrate the pressures and the cycling. So I've set up three manometers teed in to each of the three cuffs in the leg sleeve to try and show the cycling. As you can see the ankle, then the knee, then the thigh is inflated to around 45 millimetres of mercury. So ankle, then the knee, and then the thigh. It's a little hard to demonstrate but you get the general idea if you look at the cycling. Now we'll go through the service mode. This is activated by holding A and B buttons down when powering up the unit and we begin at test number one. So the number one indicates test zero one. And we advance through the test by pressing the A button. And then we start each test by pressing the B button. Just showing it advancing through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back to the start again. So we'll cover service mode zero two, the functional test. So this is a check of the display, speaker, and the valves, and the pump. So test two, and we press B to start the test. So you'll hear the valve cycling. I've sped this up a little bit so it sounds a bit odd. But each press of the A button will check each of the LEDs in turn. Red and green segments of each. So you can check every single LED to make sure they're okay. And you're obviously hearing the beep of the speaker at the same time. Back to normal speed. And this is the ramp test of the pump. So we hold that down. Then when we release it, the pump ramps back down again. So it's a good test. Next one is test mode 07, the performance test.
and test mode 06, the leak test. So here you would normally apply two sleeves. I've only connected one for this test, but effectively it's the same for both sides. So the first part is the machine pressurizes the sleeve to 45 millimeters of mercury. And then you get a single beep to say we started. And it sits and waits for 20 seconds. Another beep to indicate that it's holding for a further 20 seconds to check for a leak. And the beep indicates a pass. And then it would repeat for the other sleeve if you had one connected. So test mode 04 is the pressure calibration check. So in this case we apply pressure to the port that I'm pointing to there, which is connected to the pressure transducer internally. The test jig is just a cable, T-piece, something to generate some pressure. I'm just using a bulb and a manometer to measure the pressure. It's a fairly simple setup procedure. So we start the test. Make sure there's no pressure in the circuit. Our zero, we advance to the next test. Now we inflate the bulb to 18. So working our way backwards. Whoops, need to go up again, missed it. And just slowly releasing. As you can see, we've got two greens, which indicates a pass. We do the same for 45, and those two LEDs in the middle should go to green. There we go, green. Then at 130, do the same. Yep, that's fine. Test passed, okay. Hope you enjoyed the video, we'll see you next time.